Alrighty guys, so hopefully it's working. I'm gonna do a, a game theory video relating to the past couple videos of what I did on Super Turbo, and I'm gonna give an example of Dragon Ball Fighter Z of like the whole balance, the chaos, balance and chaos, right? Balance and the chaos. And in those Super Turbo videos, if you watch those, I talked about how you know sometimes nature will find a way. I called it the Jurassic Park of a video game, right? Sometimes it's okay if video games have lots of overpowered moves, right? It will find a way, right? And then in the last video, I gave an example of, although I say that, and I do think games like Dragon Ball Fighter Z are too thought out and all that kind of stuff, you know, most games are too thought out nowadays, right? The whole wait your turn. Moves are given too specific of a purpose. They can only do one thing, right? But there are specific situations where I do agree that a move should be more anally analyzed or however you want to think of more there should be more thought into it because it can become problematic right so again the example i gave in super turbo imagine super turbo was a game like the street fighter alpha where you know they're starting to throw a little bit of a different spin on ryu you know they're throwing a little bit of a different spin on what a fireball dragon punch character could be and so in super turbo they gave him the rush fierce and the rush strong and then they took out the Rust Fierce and they gave him the hop kick in uh, Street Fighter Alpha, right? But the hop kick is a move. If the hop kick would have been in Super Turbo instead of the Rush Fierce, because of the way that the game works in Super Turbo, it potentially could have been a very problematic move comparatively because of how the game works, right? Anyway, watch the video. Give us some views when I talk about how you would fix it. But So let's talk about Vegito. Vegito is a good example of... He has some conundrum of moves, right? Moves that would have to be very thought out. One of the examples I give is the Banshee Blast, right? If we're to think about a game from a normal perspective, right? You know what I mean? Like, you're thinking, oh, Vegito could just, you know, do this, and then, you know, he goes, whatever the fuck he's gonna do. You know, he has a shitty low, but whatever the case. You know, high low, he's just like, damn, he's just doing this, he's just doing whatever the fuck he wants to do, right? But then we get into the idea and the most interesting part about this game, which should be more focused on, should be more amplified to make it more interesting to the viewer to watch and the player, because it's something new, right? The whole tug of war between reflecting and fireballs, homing dash and fireballs, you know what I mean? That whole, that tug of war, that dynamic of this game is interesting, right? So if you're to think about it like that, you're like, oh, okay, well, I guess in that context, a move like that isn't that broken, right? Because, you know, you can't just be, you know, you can get through that kind of shit, right? So then you come into the conundrum of the move, though, that the move is so fucking slow. It doesn't even work properly, right? I mean, obviously, you don't want to make... And I talked about how I would fix the move, right? I would just give it an EX move, right? And, of course, I'd make this a little bit faster as well. But give it an EX move so the guy can't just mash and whatever. Because technically, you know what I mean? If you're just doing this shit, the, da the guy can always hold me dash and, like, hit you. And since this move doesn't have jump cancels, it's not like you're gonna be like, oh, hey, I mixed you up and now I'm gonna block it with that. And like, no, you, there's no jump cancels. No matter what you do technically, if the opponent sees you going into the air, that shit doesn't work unless you, unless you have like an assist or something backing you up. If you see him going there and I showed it, you can just hold it. It doesn't work right. It's it's a conundrum of a move and you can't just have it be a beam because then it's like, well, fuck, dude, that, that's not fair. Why, why can only he, he's the only one that's getting that kind of fucking mix-ups, dude, right? You know, that doesn't make sense. And then, of course, you get into the dynamic of, well, fuck, that's a beam. You know, like, what, what, like, Jesus Christ, that's fucking retarded, right? So it's a conundrum of the, of the game because on one hand, it's a move that could potentially show off the most amazing thing about this game. Again, the tug of war between fireballs, homing dash, reflecting, that kind of stuff, right? But... It's just, it would be too powerful, right? If it was a beam, right? So that's why I would say you'd have to give it like an EX one, right? So at least the opponent would not be able to just mash, you know what I mean? At least there'd have to be a little bit of a guessing and there's a risk reward because you do have to use meter, right? I would still make this a little bit faster because I mean, you shouldn't be like punishable, dude. That's ridiculous. Like I can understand that he doesn't get a mix up off it, but I mean, I don't think people realize, but, and again, this is like assuming that we're doing that bug, how I showed you can make this unreflectable. So imagine even if you do this as like longest stun move, even if you do the non-reflectable version of that, not homing dashable out of it, that's less advantageous and less and more punishable than if you did. Right. Oh shit, fuck me there. Oh my god, exposed. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. Those low to the ground ones, right? Wow, geez, I got exposed there for a second, right? 
that's actually like just doing this and then doing the ground version of it, like or the very low to the ground, non-momentum Tigerny version, if, if you want to call it like that. You know what I mean? That that's how fucking slow this move is, right? Like I would definitely fix that move a little bit, but let's talk about something in this game that should have been actually more analyzed, right? And I'm going to give you an example, right? So I think a common idea in this game is you want strings to end, but if we're thinking about the Vegito that he doesn't really have, you know, good high-low mix-up per se, right? So let's just say something like this, right? You know, and I, a common idea might be like, you know, if you could be like that. Oh, shit. Fireball. No. Oh, shit. I got to do a fireball. What am I doing? You know, you know whatever the fuck you're doing, right? You know, to, like, continue your pressure, right? And I'm going to take this in steps. I'm going to show you why this wasn't that thought out, right? So you're like, oh, okay, well, that's pretty cool. Hmm, that's that's pretty cool, right? But let's, again, let's take this in steps, right? Then we get into the problem of though that uh, again, I'm gonna show this in steps. So uh, first, oh god, this shows how much I play, right? I gotta remember what the fuck I'm doing. Um, reflect, right? So imagine if we're this close, and again, I'm taking this in steps just to like show the thought process here. If you're gonna do this, oh well, fuck, that misses, right? Well, fuck. Okay. And then if you were to do this, you know, you're like, you know, this is actually not safe, right? I mean, you can't, that doesn't beat that, right? Now, you can do something like, that does actually beat. I mean, you can do that. But I mean, okay, that's like, you know, we're like going a little bit further layers here. But then you think about like, okay, well, wait a second. Like, I don't have to do it that close, right? I don't have to do it. Yeah, it's still keeping it right. I don't have to do it that close. So it could be something like... And so from a more realistic range, that actually beats homing dash. Do you see what I mean? So from a more real, like, you can't homing dash out of that. And you're like, oh shit, so that does work, right? So then you're like, okay, actually, if you do it, like, realistically, you, it's, it's like, okay. Oh shit, I forgot what I'm doing. Okay, that, that, and you're like, mate, does that work? Because then if you're reflecting that close, you're not like getting moved backwards, right? You know what I mean? Or you're not like that far, so that's not gonna lift your favorite flex. But then there's a fucking problem, right? If you only tested it like that, then you might have missed something, right? And you might have missed that. And this goes into, again, why this his like certain things in this game should have been more analyzed. Um. So we don't want guard cancel, we want counter attack, right? Because, oh yeah, because if you look at this, I gotta pause that on right frame, right? Again, I actually hate talking about frame data because I feel like a lot of people use frame data to sound smart when they actually don't know anything about games, but just so you can see, so this is actually three frames away from missing, right? Three frames away from missing. Well, that's actually a big problem because if we just do this, or is this, it's R2, I think, is that what that? That beats that. Do you, do you realize that, dude? So not so we, we we're trying to get away from you know what I mean. Just you know, I said that actually beats it. You can't even block that. Like wait what? And you're like oh fuck. So we were trying to like make this idea, you know, trying to make this idea work with Vegeta, right? Because we're like well fuck, you know. It's like, oh, well, fuck, technically, you know, the dude could do something like that. that like, that doesn't work. But you're like, oh, if you're doing it in a regular string, realistically, you know what I mean? You can do that kind of shit. You can see, I think this misses by three frames, too, right? Yeah, so they're not. So, there we go. so here's the problem. Some of his normals weren't really fucking done correctly, right? If you think about it like that, dude, right? So basically what I'm saying is this sort of idea of what Vegito could do is actually was not actually analyzed enough. This was like a fucking problem, right? Because this idea of something that's fun with him, because if you're thinking about the game, like I said, uh, from this perspective, like that kind of shit is too good. You know what I mean? That kind of shit is too good. And of course I would switch frame data all around, but I'm trying to show you like a specific nuance here, right? So basically what I'm trying to say is this move should have done another free frames of stone. This move should have done up to three frames of stun. Right. Does this break the game if this does three more frames of block stun? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, because technically, you can still then, you know, you can still fucking... What is it? Uh, where am I at? Uh, guard, cancer. 
you can still get out of that, right? You know, it's it's not this doing three more frames of stun going into something like this. That's you know, this isn't breaking the game by letting that do, do that, right? Giving it another three frames of stun. That's not breaking that, right? If we do if we do this. You know what I mean? Like, okay, you know what I mean? He's, you know, you gotta give something like these characters are supposed to have a little bit of different shit, right? But when you just set it to counterattack, not guard cancel, you see again we'll do it again, counterattack, so R2, right? If we're just doing this, oh fuck, you can't even block that anytime, you're just dead. Does this one work? I forget. Oh, that one you can block at least, but. So how would you fix that? How how is this should have been more analyzed? Well, technically, just this move doing three more frames of stun. You know what I mean? This should have done seven. Yep. You could still too hard it. Even if it did three more frames of stun, you would still be able to duck hard slash duck hard it, right? So this is a specific instance where a couple of Vegito's moves were actually not overanalyzed enough. Because, you know, like I said, the, I'm just it just it bothers me because like I said, the tug of war between fireballs reflecting homie dash is the most interesting thing about this game. And it should be more on display, right? But the problem is, you, it, it can't be on display because a lot of this shit doesn't even work. And it doesn't even work in your brain. Like, the only way this stuff works is if the opponent is too slow or doesn't know what the fuck is going on. Because it just, that move should do a few more frames of stun. This move should do, you know? Do you get what I'm saying? Certain things were actually not thought out enough, right? And usually I'm against moves being too anally thought out of, but when the fact that, you know, something like that can happen, hopefully you get what I'm getting at, you know, that's that's a problem. So it's like, oh, well, fuck that. And it just goes back to the whole point of like, ah, so I guess it's just this game really wants you to like, hey, this is wait your turn, this is my turn, and that's the end. And the thing is, this isn't even like, you know, oh, would that really destroy Vegito that he continues his pressure like that? that he gets to help force the opponent to display the most interesting part about the game, that sort of tug of war. It's not like he's going super high, low mix up. He should have pressure shit like that, right? This should have been a little more anally observed, 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 blah, 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 that that would be like a real thing. But instead it's just kind of a, well, if the opponent doesn't really know what's going on and they're slow kind of thing, right? Do you get what I'm saying? Anyway, so again, this is uh, kind of continuing using a Dragon Ball Fighter Z thing of moves that actually should, would need to be more anally observed, would need to be more pre-planned and predetermined, right? Which is strange on a game that is just pre-planned and predetermined that, you know, they kind of missed something like that. It's pretty fucking sad, actually, but anyway, um, the end. <laughs>